Welcome, I'm Mr. Kennedy of Kennedy Teaching, and this is part two on divisibility rules. Today we're going to focus on being able to divide or being able to uh, find out if a number is divisible by three, six, and nine. They're the hardest of the ones for us to focus on. So let's jump on over to what is divisibility. Now, last time we looked at divisibility, and as you can see, we decided that divis divisibility is made up of kind of two words, division and ability. And it's essentially the ability to divide evenly. We also quickly looked at what does evenly mean? Does it mean a number comes out as an even number? We decided no, it does not. It means a number does not have a remainder or a decimal. So let's just remember that divisibility is the ability to divide evenly. No remainder, no decimal. Now let's take a look at the first one that we're gonna work with, and that's the divisible by three. We wanna find out a rule, something that's in common amongst these numbers. So we have 24, 54, 66, 90, 78, 42, 912, 918, 993. Last time, if you remember from what we worked with, the two, five, and 10, your first initial thoughts are probably, hey, let's look at the endings. Four, four, six, zero, eight, two, two, eight. They're all looking even. Three, uh, no, they're not all even. But they at least are all divisible by three. So what makes them unique? Well, the rules for three is actually a bit hard. It's not something you're gonna easily see. And the way I told my students was to think back to kindergarten when the first time they saw larger numbers. You didn't see 24. What you actually saw was two and four. That's what you saw. You saw five and four. And when you first heard about addition, you probably wanted to take these numbers and add them. So two and four, which if we turn to two plus four, would equal seven. Oops, once again, I am wrong. Look at that, see, I can even add correctly. <laughs> two plus four is six. Teacher's messing up already. And five plus four is nine. All right, let's see if we keep doing this for the rest of them. Let's see, six plus six is 12. Nine plus zero equals nine. Seven plus eight equals 15. Four plus two equals six. Let's stop there for now. Six, nine, 12, nine, 15, six. So far what I'm noticing is that three, if we know our basic multiplication tables, can go into six, nine, 12, nine, 15, six, all evenly. Let's see if this continues. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Nine, 10, 18, 18. And nine plus nine is 18, plus three equals 21. Every single one of these is a multiple of three. So, what is our rule actually? What did I do? Well, the rule is if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. Or in other words, if the sum of the digits is a multiple of three, that's another way to look at it. Six, nine, 12, 15, 12, 18, 21, they're all multiples of three. So if the sum of the digits is a multiple of three or is divisible by three, then that number is also, so since two plus four equals six and three can go into six evenly, that means three can also go into 24. Three can go into 54, into 66, 90, and so on and so forth. Three can go into all these because it can go into the sum of its digits. That's the rule for that. Let's move on to divisible by nine. And the reason why I moved on to divisible by nine is if you can remember in your head that nine is like three, but with nine, then it's simple, and it is. Seven plus two equals nine. Four plus five 
Remember, I'm adding here, so let's not get confused. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 plus 9 equals 18. 8 plus 9, right there, 8 plus 9 equals 17. Plus 1 equals 18. Plus 9 equals 27. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 0, 7, plus 2, 9. 4 plus 0, plus 0, plus 5, 9. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 5, 13, plus another 5, equals 18. As you can quickly see, 9, 18, 27, 9 18s, they're all multiples of 9. Or in other words, these are all divisible by 9. Thus, 27, 45, 99, all that is also divisible by 9. So just like 3, the rule is if the sum of the digits... is divisible by 9. So you have to know your basic multiplication facts for both 3 and 9. You have to know both your basic multiplication facts for 3 and 9 to be able to find out if they're divisible by it. It's really nice. So when we get into huge numbers, as long as it equals a multiple of 9, then you know that, that larger number, 9, can also go into evenly. And let's look at our last one. Divisible by 6. And the reason why I say this one for last is it requires a combo rule. 6 is a combo rule. It's a nice way to remember it. 6 actually requires two things. So let's take a look real quick. 24, 54, 66, 90, 78, 42, 912, 918, 996. Wait a minute. Let's go back real quick. 24, 54, 66, 90, 78, 42, Hmm, everything looks the same except for down here, 993, 996. And I actually kept these the same on purpose for you. Let's take a closer look. All these numbers are even. So first off, looking at all these numbers, what's similar about them? They're all even. But what's also similar about them is they are all divisible by 3. 4, 5, 6, 5 plus 4 is 9, 6 plus 6 is 12, 9 plus 0 is 9. See, if we continue, even down here, even the last one that got changed, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 6 is 24. All those are divisible by 3. So if they're all even and all divisible by 3, then why the reason it's called a combo rule is because to be divisible by 6, The rule is if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. If you remember, 2 from last time was they're all even. So if the number is divisible by 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. Has to be divisible by both of them though. There is not any number that's divisible by six that's divisible by just one of those. Has to be divisible by two, in other words, it has to be even. It has to be divisible by three. In other words, the sum of the digits must be divisible by three. If you find both those rules, you combine them, that means it's also divisible by six. That about does it for the divisibility rules. If you're out there wondering for numbers like four, seven and eight well those are a bit more complicated and it's best just to remember your basic multiplication facts from that point so i hope this helped you greatly i hope it's useful to you and i'll see you next time if you did not watch part one of the divisibility rules for two five and ten and are still asking about them you should go find my video on that and watch it as well have a good day